Hi, my name is Jeannie. I'm a goal setting coach and author, and this is my podcast, Dreams to Reality. Dreams to Reality is based on my book. It's available on Amazon. Um, Dreams to Reality, the four keys to living the life of your dreams. Do check it out. The topic for today is an advanced visualization method that I have used for over a year and a half now. So I came across it uh, by accident, maybe. Um, I was, wasn't was really actively looking for another visualization method, but it just came up in my feed and I checked it out. And eventually, I still practice it until this moment. I do a variation of it, though. Um, basically, I can't really image cycle it's called Bengston method or image cycling I can't really cycle um, it's fast it's literally like seconds or milliseconds you just visualize your goal uh, or your end goal and I'm gonna explain uh, where it came from and how it works so basically the Bengston method is actually a healing method it's a healing technique uh developed by um a guy named bengston i forgot his first name but let me look it up so i looked it up and uh it his first name is william bengston and he has a book out the energy cure um unraveling the mysteries of hands-on healing if you want to pick that up that book up it is uh, basically, he explains a process. So it's a two-part process. It's a healing method. That's the second part. And the first part is the image cycling. So apparently, um, he wrote about like the research that he did where he was able to cure cancer in mice uh, using the, uh, the Bengston method. But the first part of his healing includes visualization or just visualizing and this is the part that i use and because i'm already like a pranic healer i do hands-on healing not really hands-on but um energy healing and i may at one point be interested in his other healing method but for now i'm really satisfied with just the uh the uh, pranic healing so since I already am a pranic healer, I just wanted to focus on the image cycling part. So if you want to know more about that uh, hands-on healing uh, Bingston method, you can definitely pick up his book and I think he has uh, seminars. I may take it in the future, but not in the immediate future, maybe a few years from now when I feel that it is time or when I feel that it's just uh, it, I go by energy so right now energetically um, not yet anyway so he has the two methods uh, the two parts of his healing technique the second one being the ha uh, the hands-on healing and the first one is you image cycle so basically you visualize and then when you are in that like sort of like similar to a trance like state where you're just visualizing image cycling and then you're healing as well and you're redirecting energy into your test subjects and that's how he came up with that healing modality but i'm using the first part which is just the image cycling and so the image cycling is basically the principle is you think of 20 things that you want to manifest and um, you think about the end image. So basically the end image should be, let's say, right now, I'll just use a real life example. So um, I really wanted to be certified in hypnosis. So my end cycle or end image was you know, joining the seminar, uh, being at the back of the room, drinking water, and then the uh, the uh, hypnotist mentor was like saying like hi to me, and it actually happened. 
uh, exactly as I had image cycled and but I was also image cycling other stuff which is uh, I think which was like getting new bed and like a flat screen TV they didn't manifest right away it took like several months um, and especially for the other one that I image cycled and yeah I've had some success with it um, and I continue to use it it's just because I want to really like visualize my end images and while I'm out and about driving doing my tours so the thing is his his technique involves non-ritualization so when you say non-ritualization it he says don't ritualize it like make it fun make it random you know um don't visualize like forcing something or don't image cycle like forcing something you know and so what happened was so you um his method involves 20 at least thinking about 20 end images or end results with the end in mind just thinking about that final frame where or picture where you already have what you want and then it's at least 20 or more you can image cycle more if you want I'm thinking about maybe adding 10 more and he said once you have achieved everything that is on your list you are going to cross it out from your list and because he said if you don't cross it out it might de-manifest so I haven't really experienced this but I did cross it out you know we just have to follow his technique uh, anyway so you have 20 end images or end results that you want to accomplish just keep them in mind and you just image cycle basically it's like you think about image one image two image three all the way to 20 or 30 or whatever end result that you want and you can make it very detailed like in my case it was very detailed um, and he said though that try not to involve someone else in the picture but in my case I have involved other people in the picture but it worked fine for me um, just because like you know like I'm trying to manifest seminars meeting the people that I that I want to meet so of course you want to manifest those people too and the objects too um, that's very easy so I'm manifesting new things right now in my head as I'm actually doing this um, podcast. But the thing that makes this really hard or difficult uh, initially is that when you I image cycle, you have to do it fast. And actually the pace is really fast. Like it's like, um, let's say you have 20 end images, right? So you think about image one, then image two image 3, image 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, all the way to 20 or 30 end images or end results that you want. But it's literally so fast that it's just seconds. It's like like this. So image 1, image 2, image 3, and image 4, image 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And it actually gets faster. It's actually like... And then it gets so fast. So when I first did it, I used the metronome. Um, so the first images were like slow, like that. But he wants you to do it really, really fast, like this fast. Image one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like. And you know, if you get the drift, it's really fast. So I suggest when you start out, uh, pull up YouTube. So when you start out, first list down the 20. And images or end results that you want make it detailed um, and he said as much as possible don't involve other people but I haven't had that problem so far anyway um, and then he said make it selfish like you know just the sky's the limit so once you have your list written down uh, maybe you have a keyword put a keyword there like maybe 
new car uh, this is the person I want to meet and everything else and then you just start with pull up your YouTube and there's a metronome that's like 40 beats per minute it's really slow and maybe it's like image one image two pull up image two pull up image three pull up image four and then so once you're used to that pace then maybe do 60 beats per minute image one image two image three and then maybe the following week if you're really good at image cycling maybe the following week or the next few weeks it gets faster like that and then eventually you know you do 800 beats or a thousand beats per minute which is like this and then so it's really rapid it's really fast it's quick it's just like a, a blink of an eye actually and it's you cycle your image cycle through your end results really fast but in my case uh, i've been doing it for a year and a half and i do it sporadically um what do you call that i can pull it up in my head but they're not as rapid as i'd like to think and i can't image cycle all of them at the same time or not at the same time one after the other so it's more like random pictures in my head like oh yeah this is one i want to manifest so in the morning uh, i i know he did say don't ritualize it but in the morning i still go through my list and just randomly like cycle through it and then throughout the rest of the day when i can remember i image cycle you know and just make it a habit and i think the thing which i like about this one is because you are image cycling for you know small goals or just the small things that you want to manifest in your everyday reality it makes it fun um as for my bigger goals of course i focus on that one and i use magnetic recode for the blocks to taking action on those ones so the bigger goals i still do image cycle them but uh, i also work on them like a lot longer than the image cycling so the image cycling is mostly like so you have like a list of things that you want to manifest maybe in a year uh, or two years and make it make your list random you know maybe you just want to manifest like a mickey mouse stuffed animal or something like that you know make it random make it big make it small and just have fun with it and anyway if you'd like to learn more about the bankston method i did discuss it in detail on my tiktok page uh, you can check it out at mystic genie 88 m-y-s-t-i-c genie g-e-n-i-e 88 so it's on TikTok. So I have like a bunch of videos there. They're more detailed. Um, I may talk about it in the future, um, in future podcasts. And also I have like um, a stand store, like it's stand.store forward slash mystic genie 88, M-Y-S-T-I-C, genie G-E-N-I-E 88. Um, and I have like an action planner there, meditations, and I have a course, the four keys to manifesting the life of your dreams. And I may in at one point interview people that are doing the uh, manifestation work. Uh, but for now, it's mostly like discussing methods, techniques, uh, you know, discussing about the levels of the mind and just have fun with my podcast listen to the other episodes i will be posting more uh frequently uh, once a week every saturday but i will be posting more um more content and i'm actually batching right now and making content for the first quarter so definitely there will be more content for 2023 and thank you very, very much for listening. If you have any questions, email me at homeofgenie at gmail.com, H-O-M-E-O-F, genie, D-N-I-E, at gmail.com. I'll put it in the show notes. And 
just you know write a comment or a question that you want me to address in my podcast and check out my youtube too thank you very much for listening and i hope you have fun with the bangston method